Hey, Alec, can I show you something real fast? Uh, yeah, sure. But real quick, I noticed that we're in an electrical zone because our boundaries are up. So let's make sure that the cart is de-energized and we're following our lockout tagout procedures before we go inside the panel and start working. Great idea. Can I show, I show you where that's at? Sounds good. Whether you're an electrician, an engineer, or a mechanic, lockout tagout is an important procedure that you must know whenever working around stored energy. Lockout tagout is the only reliable means of making stored energy safe for you to work around. In this video, we're going to go through the six steps of lockout tagout and understand each step and how to execute them. The six steps of lockout tagout are identification, notification, de energization, application verification and testing, and then performing work. In this example, Jaime Garcia starts with identification of his energy sources. He needs to trace his line to be sure what sources of energy are coming into the panel. The second step he's going through is notification of affected personnel. He's letting a person know that he'll be de-energizing the panel and they should be prepared. Third, Jaime needs to de-energize the panel. Well, in this case, the panel had already been de-energized, but I'll throw up an example of what it looks like under normal conditions to de-energize the panel. Jaime does this by pulling out the 480 volt cable from the wall. Next is application of the lockout tagout device. Jaime takes his lock and applies it to a hasp, which is already on the disconnect switch. He makes sure that his lock is firmly on and then checks the disconnect switch to make sure it's firmly in the off position. Once he's confirmed that the disconnect switch is in the off position and his lock is secure, Jaime will put on his electrical PPE to proceed with verification and testing. Verification and testing is ensuring that the system isn't receiving any energy and your lockout tagout is effective. In order to do this on an electrical system, Jaime uses a meter to check for volts. He confirms that the meter reads zero volts, which tells him that there's no energy going into the system. Once he's confirmed this, the system is verified electrically safe and Jaime is free to remove his electrical PPE and proceed with work. Let's conclude this discussion on lockout tagout with three important points. The first is lockout tagout is always the responsibility of the person or people performing the work. The second is lockout tagout is for all forms of energy, not just electricity. And the third point is that your lockout tagout kit won't work for every situation. If you find yourself in a situation where your lockout tagout kit won't be effective, contact your supervisor or a member of the safety department so we can provide you with the correct lockout tagout kit. All right guys, that's it for this week's safety discussion video. April is Alcohol Awareness Month. Drinking too much alcohol can lead to uh, increased risk of injury, violence, liver disease, and also some forms of cancer. So remember to drink responsibly, know your limits, and uh, stay safe out there.